If you think chicken is boring, this is a recipe for you. Jerk chicken chops this good should be illegal. Mmm. Oh, look at how moist that still is. Smut! I'm Chewy, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make spicy jerk chicken chops with a pasta side dish all in one pan. So just sit back, grab a drink or two, and let's get into it. For this recipe, we need some chicken chops. That's bone in and skin on chicken thighs. That's it. All the prep done by Mick, my butcher out at Gippsland Premium Meats. Or as I like to call him, my special little snuggle buddy. Seasoning time is next and we need some spice. So I'm using this atomic chicken jerk seasoning. Just give the chicken a good coating all over. Don't be shy, get it on there. Flip the chops over and repeat the process. Now if you can't find atomic chicken jerk seasoning, move to Australia or use another brand or use that recipe but it won't taste as good. Today, I was gonna use this Weber Go Anywhere, or GA as they're known, but I decided to push it aside and use this Carefree Z Grills pellet smoker. Add some pellets, lift the lid, turn it to the smoke function, <coughs> wait for it to start smoking. Once the smoke clears, close the lid and set our target temp for 176 Celsius. And we can now just leave that alone while it gets to temp. The great thing about pellet smokers is their ease of use for beginners. Unlike certain spherical charcoal based type barbecues. Now while we're waiting for the super easy to use Z Grills pellet smoker to get to temp, we are starting today's cook off in a pan. Make sure it's oven proof like this cast iron one. Add some oil and we're just gonna let this heat up over a medium heat. After a minute, we're gonna add the chicken chops skin side down and cook them for five minutes or until golden brown. And then just flip the chicken chops over and then just pop the pan into the easy breezy to use Zed Grills pellet smoker for 20 minutes. Pan fried chicken with a hint of smokiness. What could be better? After 20 minutes, we want to take the chicken out of the smoker and remove it from the pan. Add some of this and a good splash of this, more of this, a splurt of this, a bunch of this, a small can of this, and some of this. Now mix that all up, add the chicken back into it, skin side up, and back into the smoker for 20 minutes. The timing depends on the pasta. We just need it to be tender. Also, the chicken needs to be reading 74 degrees Celsius internally, to be classed as no death chicken. Today I'm cooking with a high indirect heat of 176 degrees Celsius. And all up, this cook's gonna take 45 minutes. Or for those of you who love to use my beer timer, you're looking at a two beer cook. Cheers. Now they all can't be 48 beer cooks. Or can they? That's it, the jerk chicken chops are ready. The chicken is reading 74 degrees Celsius internally and that pasta is super tender. Now don't be fooled, this is one spicy dish. You should have a roll of this in your freezer ready for tomorrow. The extremely reliable Z Grills pellet smoker smashed out another cook with ease. Every time I cook this dish up, I just place it in the center of the table and let people help themselves. All that's left to do is sprinkle some roughly chopped basil over the top. I wonder what barbecue I'll be using next week. Spicy chicken with some heat. That's how you do it, KFC.